What up, though? It's your man Ike Love here. I'm representing for RepYourCity.com. Also for Hot TV, you already know how we get it in. And I'm sitting here, this is like crazy, because this is like really my partner <laughs> on the radio, and I'm actually like interviewing him. Normally we clowning together. Yeah. But he's in director, actor, producer mode right now. So let's, that's a quick side note. Tell him what your name is, son. Come on, Smith. What's happening, everybody? It's on and popping right now, like... 45 minutes away from game time, but it's good because I got time for y'all. It's good. This is like the all access pass backstage before we get it in. So I'm just going to ask you, like I said, I'm going to try not to laugh because we like partners and we clown all the brothers, time. But <laughs> I want to ask you a few questions just about what we have because this is about to be a historical event yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Now, tell us, what. how many plays have you done so this far? This is actually my, well, this is my fifth play that I wrote and directed and produced. Um, I've been total, I don't well, yeah, you know, and then that's not counting the ones you you acted in and yeah, all like, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what are you trying to do for the city of Detroit right now? Now, you know, honestly speaking, and this is just a true story. This is for real. Um, <clears throat> this this will tell it all in one in one one walk. I was going in 2006, literally going, and this guy can tell you. I sold my furniture. I, I was about to move to LA. I, I thought that's where it was happening. And my brother told me, "Yo, you can either leave or you can bring." Hollywood to Detroit and that is exactly what I'm trying to do. I, I just believe that there's a lot of talent here um, and, and if I got to be the, the pioneer to, to make this ship sail then that's what I'm gonna do. Well and then the crazy thing a lot of people don't realize like see I was there at your humble beginnings yeah. when you were starting off yeah. and now you're taking it to the next level so you got Clifton Powell aka yeah. Pinky aka yeah. Chauncey I mean from, Shut up! <laughs> from all the Please, movies. Say so how did you pull that off? I mean, if I say Cliff, look, dog, you can get out of it. No, I'm playing Cliff. Um, you know, actually, all just aside, I mean, it was it was really all guy. Like I had um, Tank lined up, and um, he kind of bailed on me at the last second. Not, no offense to Tank, I mean, he had to have things he had to do. Um, but I had just went to a premiere of a, of a movie. Shouts out to Donnie, Five K One, um, and that Clifton was in, and my man from church, Big Ty was with Cliff. And okay. so I, you know, I'm not no, no groupie or anything like that. I, I wanted to go say what's up to Ty. And then mm -hmm. Ty was like, oh, yo, this is my man Cliff. And I'm like, okay, cool. So right after that, Tank camp, I think it's like two days after that, Tank canceled. And I was like, man, so now we really short of the character that I needed. And so I was like, well, I'm just going to call Ty. Like, dang, Cliff would be a great real. Y'all know how Cliff is. And if you knew what his role is, he's perfect for it. You know, this thing, faggot, chauncey, and Pinky in one role in this play, you know what I mean? And then I was like, yo, he'd be great. And so I said, well, Ty, man, look, I, I know it's probably very much out of my league, but this is what I got as far as budget-wise. Can you just make a call? I made the call, and like two days later, we was, we was like emailing contracts. So also, but what I like about it, you do, I mean, obviously we know uh, Clifton Powell's track record. He's an established actor. Yeah. But... You still got some balance because you put Detroit talent on it. Yeah, as well. I mean, yeah, I mean, and I guess that just goes back to, you know, bringing Hollywood to to Detroit. I mean, we we got a lot of talent here, man. So so really, you know, and I told you, I told this guy this before. I said, yo, this play is my straight up boys in the hood. Um, um, like this is my my boys in the hood. You know right, what I mean? Right. And so y'all remember how Ice Cube came? Like I I know I personally went for Ice Cube. I didn't mm -hmm. know who Morris Chestnut was right, or right. any of them at that time. And so I called up a man, K. D. Z. You know what I mean? I, I called some other people who was involved at the time, but it's not now. So I want to shout him out like that. But um, he's still my man though. Um, and my got with Monica Blair. I just thought like, man, like, what if I can bring all of the facets of of Detroit together? Right. So rapping side, acting side, um, R and B side. I mean, just bring it all in one pool. And I mean, that's what it came. Out. And yo, when, yo, when I see this play, K. D. Z. and Monica. Yo, I bow down to y'all. This is this. She not singing. He not rapping. They're acting, and they are real. So they did their thing. Yeah. But you should have had them like an intermission. We should have had the uh, the rap show. <laughs> I get shocked. Yeah, right. yeah, right, exactly. But no, that's what's up. That's <laughs> yeah, a good yeah, look yeah. right there. Yeah. And so I think, what you, what do you think the people are gonna feel? Them? What do you hope that they get from this play? 
honestly, well, I can tell you the, the message. The message that I hope everybody um, establishes this is that um, it, it, it meet the parents. You know, the first thing that I, I knew everybody would think is you know Ben Stiller. Meet mm -hmm. the parents is a comedy, and just off of my prior plays, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's always been like comedy. Um, but this this go around, I run into doing drama, and I, mm -hmm. because I just think it's something so much what we have to talk about as a society, as a city. And you always hear that story about deadbeat dads, this deadbeat dads, that. I wanted to to two two things. I wanted to paint that picture of what it's like for real of a dude that's growing up without a father. You know, I mean, in every single side of that. You know, what I mean, from a lot the, of people from can the relate to that though. yeah, from from the kid side, from the mom that's trying to raise him without her husband or you know, baby daddy, whatever. You know, what I mean, and from the opposite side of the guy who doesn't even claim him. Like, how is that? And then the, the second side of it is, I just wanted people to see, like, man, y'all, y'all know, I'm not, you know, I'm not ashamed to say. I mean, this 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 city is very high in crime. You mm -hmm. know, what I mean, and it's very drugged up, and just like, what what it, what what it can do to you. Right. And so, if this is my stop the violence type of thing, then I, right, I guess right. that's what it is. But you put the two stories together, I thought, like, how dope would it be if we put a gangster play on? You know what I mean? And, and that's what came about, man. Well, and then I guess the last thing, because I know you got to get ready for showtime. We'll probably talk to you time, afterwards. Man, but you know? the one thing I'm looking forward to most to seeing in this play is, of all the plays you've done, yeah. they, they've been funny. You've been in different characters. Yeah. I saw this man getting ready for the play, and he had like guns and, and uh, bulletproof vests. That's what I'm yeah, looking forward to yeah, seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did you get in that mode? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. I just told my cousin today, who actually I stole my character name from him. You know, shout out to my man Kahai, aka Roscoe, who's my, my my character name. I really love this character, and it's only because I think this is the most challenging role I had. You know what I mean? Like everybody, y'all know me, and everybody who knows me. I'm the silly, I'm silly, I'm kind-hearted, nothing far from a thug. So to play that versus, I don't know what I've been, I'm, you know, a husband or um, a poet, you know what I mean, just that, you know, I mean, something that's not a player, right. something that's not, I haven't, that's not far-fetched from how I really am. And so this one, I really had to dig deep. So to, to be honest, I really had my moment where I, I watched a lot of movies. Mm -hmm. I mean, I went from Blow to Goodfellas to Casino to uh, Belly to Menace to, I mean, just movie after movie mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. What's that one with um, De Niro and um, um, your man? Uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Um, Brooklyn's Finest? No. I saw that one too, though. Yeah. But no, no, no. Yeah. But you know, but the other one. But um, my point is, like, I really studied. And yeah. I never had to do that before. I just jumped in the mode. But I want, wanted, I didn't want people to laugh. When they see me on stage, I, I want people to be convinced, like. But bottom line, I know it wasn't that hard. We from Detroit, Eastside. You know, all you had to do was think back to where we grew oh, up. Yeah, That's yeah, what's yeah, up, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So exactly. I'm going to let you get ready to do your thing. I, I, Meet the parents right here behind the scenes. Yo, we got more to come. Yo, forty minutes, baby. I'm out, man. Holla.